who's excited for Aquaman 2, I know, right? For everybody that went out and seen it and for inexplicable reasons that made over a billion dollars, it is DC, I think, outside of the Nolan Batman trilogy, is the most profitable DC film in their entire run, which is absolutely absurd. It makes zero sense outside of, well, everybody just kind of like J or likes Jason Momoa and uh, some of the self-avowed feminists who would just go ahead and, you know, bring a couple of sea cucumbers into the theater would just like to see him shirtless so maybe that explains some of the appeal of the film but with the two big superhero films that are left on the docket for 2023 oh boy they are both sequels imagine that they are both sequels to billion dollar films where you have obviously you have aquaman 2 coming out december 20th and save the date and then just a month earlier you have the marvels a sequel to the everybody to everybody's favorite MCU film, Captain Marvel. I'm just wondering, man, and I think probably have the answer, but which one, which of the billion dollar movies that are out there for whatever reason, which one is gonna make more money? Which one's gonna be the bigger drop off? I kind of th I think the obvious answer and the most likely result is going to be that Aquaman 2 isn't even gonna make 300 million dollars i don't think that the marvels is going to do a hell of a lot better i don't think it's going to crack 400 million dollars unless disney decides to fortify it a whole hell of a lot but they're already in financial straits and that you know add a couple of months on top of that and it could be even more dire so it's going to be tough man it's going to be big tough on this one and I haven't even uttered the one name that is definitely contributing to its absolute bomb status but warner brothers not marketing aquaman and the lost kingdom yeah this film was supposed to come out years ago at this point in time it has almost been moved around as much as the marvels and uh, for for similar reasons on that one because they know it's bad and that it'll lose money yeah yeah uh, the new rumor claims that warner brothers at disney is not marketing aquaman and the lost kingdom because the company knows that the movie is bad and believes it will lose them money and yeah because it's been announced for so long and because it has jason momoa and to be completely honest Everybody likes Jason Momoa. I don't think anybody has a bad word to say about him. They might be a little tired of him. They might not think he's the best actor. But then at the same time, he's not a reason that nobody would not go and see a film. Like if he's attached to a new Western or something like that, nobody's going to go, Ew, I don't believe that he's in that. They would just go and see because, oh, that's kind of interesting. He's just uh, in a sea of unlikable characters. Shout out Rachel Ziegler. Jason Momoa is, I think he's an even more vanilla version of The Rock if that's even possible. And I like him more than The Rock. I'll just throw that out there, even as a wrestling fan, right? Uh, the rumor comes uh, from Scooper Casey Walsh on X, who responded to the question about why Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom trailer has not been released yet, but we have a follow-up on that. Come on now. Um, despite the film set to arrive in theaters on December 20th, 2023, Walsh wrote, I think, because they know it's bad and it's going to lose some money and they're putting marketing budget behind it at all. And that, yeah, the budget itself, I think, is getting close to if it hasn't already eclipsed $300 million so this one's going to lose hundreds of millions of dollars so if they can just go ahead and you know piss it out right into holiday or holiday season well you know hey man i'll just tr try to catch a couple of stray bodies and that's the reason why okay so dune part two dune part two has been pushed off to 2024 hopefully the writers strike this is their thinking i for me if they just strike until the end of time no talent has been lost but they're just hoping that the actors can come back and promote dune part two because people seem to like dune part one and if you can get the actors out there on the stroll and promote the film well that should theoretically do something good for them but Aquaman 2. No, no, no. It's staying put because the best thing that they could do with all of their stars attached to this stuff, like for all the goodwill that you could have, you know, a relatively inoffensive and jovial Jason Momoa sit on, you know, one of the late night talk shows couch, you still have to contend with, well, the turd and the punch bowl, as it were. Uh, the latest rumor comes after a report that the Hollywood Reporter's Boris Kitt claimed that the film underwent its third set of reshoots oh, since it finished principal photography on uh, January 2022. Previous two reshoots took place between the summer of 2022 and the beginning of 2023. Interesting. What happened during the summer of 2022? Oh, right. The co-stars big break off Hollywood in a courtroom oh 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 and we're done due to the film receiving uninspiring test screenings yeah 
And that's an, also, that's another reason that DC has canned another film, you know, Batgirl. That was, I think, last year that was announced. But then at the same time, you know, what else tested exceedingly well? The biggest bomb so far this year in The Flash. Like I said, this is so far this year. So far, the most expensive movie of all time once the budgets officially come out. But as of right now, it, it was said to have cost $350 million. What did it end up pulling in? I don't even know if it cracked 300 million. Like, it, it was a disaster. But this one right here, ooh, buddy. Kid detailed an insider informed him that the third set of reshoots was undertaken due to issue uh, story clarity. Yo, man, you, it's it's Aquaman, okay? he He's a dude from underwater. How is it that difficult in order to not get it to stick? Like, yo, man, these it's not like these films have ever prioritized things making sense. But, bruh, if it was that bad... Uh, the idea of the test screening uh, from the film were uninspiring uh, was previously reported by Scooper's uh, Viewer Anon big screen leaks and Jeff Snyder back in February. Yeah, uh, Viewer Anon said, I'll be honest, uh, we're half a dozen test screenings in and it's not looking great. I've consistently heard over the last half year or so that it's boring. Not as good as the first. Oof, that sucks. So it's not as good as a three and potentially one of the worst DCEU movies where, well, that has a lot of competition because they're all trash that's all right guys we got the new trailer it dropped today and i'm not gonna play it because i don't want to my eyes have been a little bit goofy because there's a lot of smoke in the area i guess that would probably be helped if i was living underwater right right no uh i'm just saying it is it's normally when you view something and you appreciate it it's a feast for the eyes that is a famine for the it, it's a scour it's a scourge on the eyes like the flash had some horrific cg and the director tried to play it off as like no 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 well well the flash is in the speed force it's supposed to look bad what's their excuse no we actually filmed that shit below the water and that's just what you're seeing man like our cameras i thought they were good enough but we just couldn't get any footage that was clear enough sorry it's it, it's atrocious man like it wouldn't look out of place rendered on a super nintendo for christ's sakes trash trash level so yeah, maybe it is just bad. Maybe the rumors are true. Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom rumored to be abandoned by Warner Brothers with no full trailers just a three months before its theatrical release. Yeah, so th that theory is starting to gain steam. And I've seen something. Can't corroborate it or anything like that. There's been a couple of stories that obviously circulated, but it, it couldn't back them up. So I find this one interesting. This, uh, this little story very interesting when it said that Warner Brothers in DC completely lost, uh, lost track of all of the copies of Aquaman it's like what how do, how do you actually lose a movie like is that even possible maybe that would make sense as to why there hasn't been any trailers for this like they don't even know what they have they've shot three or four different versions of this movie obviously reshoots aren't necessarily the full movie but they are also aren't telling you how much of the movie was reshot but if you aren't marketing something you don't have a firm plot on it and you've already effectively killed off this version of the DC films the DCEU is dead I think this is the last film the last film to come out under the old regime before james gunn well, attempts to reboot any sort of interest in that stuff for july of 2025 when nobody's gonna care about any of this stuff hey guys you remember superhero films yeah they sucked and marvel has still been putting out shit great what does james gunn have oh great superman great he's gonna be quir quirky and fun and weird oh fantastic just what we want out of superman but no, when that was announced last year, I think, earlier this year, realistically, it doesn't much matter. It killed off any hype that anybody had for Shazam, which made, what, $6.800? Black Adam, that came out before that, which underperformed, and that was still the best performing film under the prior regime because they didn't even know what the fuck they were doing. They said that James Gunn was coming in. Oh, great, so what are we doing? Don't know! Continuing on any plot lines? Well, Henry Cavill's in the post-credit scene. And, oh, he's, he's got the curl. He's going to be real Superman. No, he's not coming back. Fan-fucking-tastic. And then The Flash, and now Aquaman. All of this stuff is outside of the 10-year plan that James Gunn has, which... I'm going to take a wild guess he's never going to be able to complete it because the superhero thing isn't really going to have the legs that he's planning for. If you wanted to have a plan to begin with, just start with one good fucking film. Just one. Just that. Just one. Not a 10-year plan. Not a whole bunch of TV series. Not a whole bunch of animated shorts. Just one good fucking movie. That's all we want. That's all we want. And a Superman film, it's been a long time since there's been a good Superman film. Not hard. It's not hard. It's a white meat baby face who just saves everybody. It's real. It's so fucking cut and dry. Have a likable actor. 
have an optimistic tone. It's pretty fucking simple. But no, we, we gotta skim the turds out of the pool with Aquaman. Or maybe not. With just over three months left before Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom hits theaters. Well, because Amber Heard's in it, shits theaters. On December 20th, the lack of any type of marketing has fueled rumors that Warner Brothers has essentially abandoned the film. Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom is a follow-up to Warner Brothers' 2018 smash hit Aquaman, which took in $335 million domestic and $1.14 billion worldwide. <laughs> okay. Uh, Jason Momoa returns as the title character as does Amber Heard as Mira yeah there she is yeah she's definitely going to be in it all of those uh, thoughts and feelings back in the cut during the during the halcyon days of the Depp Heard trial of her being cut and removed from the film nope not the case at all nope 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 there were rumors in July that Warner Brothers may push Dune Part 2 Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom and the Color Purple into 2024 I think two of those I'm not too sure about the Color Purple remake which everybody was begging for the fuck uh due to the ongoing writer and actor strike but both unions forbidding its members from promoting their work for strike or struck companies during the work stoppage and while the studio did ultimately push dune part 2 to november 3rd 2023 release to march 15th 2024 it hadn't pushed the color purple or aquaman 2 oh okay that makes sense uh twitter budget okay comics kids speculating over the weekend the warner brothers has no market to budget oh i'm sorry no marketing budget for the superhero sequel yeah that would be um interesting and normally especially with something that costs this much you would have a pretty big marketing push and yeah it's during a good time i'm not too sure what's coming out during that point and given the high likelihood that you know hollywood's gonna be out of content for a long long time it should be one of their 10 pull releases like christ 1.1 four billion dollars on the previous release but that was that was 2018 that was five years that was five years ago holy shit times have changed bro times have changed a big time aquaman 2 is coming out in three months and still no trailer why is no one panicking comics quit or comics kid was talking on twitter why, why are we going back and forth with this stuff it's unclear if comics kid was just throwing his own uh, speculative idea for setting an industry sources they know it's bad and yeah that'll lose money obviously another twitter user neb's good takes uh, shared a brief 30 seconds of footage uh that has been released so far yeah so you've had a tree uh, a teaser for a trailer fantastic stuff has been released thus far uh, though there is still no publicly released trailer yet and the 30 second footage uh, was part of the teaser from warner brothers and then a 2022 slate of dc films oh yes in february of 2022 when aquaman the lost kingdom was slated for december 16th 2023 and then it just got pushed back a year for reasons i guess i don't know better time slot you didn't have to it didn't have to compete with the uh, avatar way of water too many too many water filmed movies at that point we can't we can't rely we can't have two of them it's not like you know that oh yeah that close to amber heard just being the biggest thing which i don't know guys you still see it if you're on social media like that bitch still trends on a weekly basis it's like enough enough just just let her live her shitty life yo when aquaman 2 comes out obviously it's gonna kick up all of this shit and maybe maybe that's why warner brothers is just oh god we can't can it we can't just release it on max everybody knows it's going to be out there and fuck man we're just gonna have to bite the bullet it'll be interesting it'll be interesting when an official trailer does eventually drop not quite a pun for amber heard but yeah close enough right it's just it breaks from tradition or maybe this is just everybody realizing that yeah this whole superhero thing and especially dc yeah it's kind of done it's kind of done. We'll be able to tell specifically by, you know, Aquaman 2. Nobody's anticipating this doing anything more than a couple hundred million, three, four hundred million at best, but probably the tentpole, probably uh, the big player in this one. It's going to be the Marvels that comes out early in, in November. Because while that film definitely has baggage when it comes to Brie Larson and her general, I guess the nicest way we can say that is a quirkiness on Cam on camera uh they don't have anything anything on dc and their problem with a uh, said red-haired actress that is definitely gonna weigh like an anchor on this film you better hope jason momoa has been working out in order to lift that thing otherwise whoo buddy if you thought the bombs so far this year have been bad this one right here i still think it's gonna take the cake though so with all that said thank you all very much for the gift of your time i've been don consuelo i want you to follow your gut and get after it take care everyone